Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. I started this channel especially for technical students and professionals. In future, I will cover all the electricals, plumbing and HVAC topics, theory with practicals. So please subscribe my channel and share it as much as possible. Now I'm going to start from basic of electrical engineering. So let's start it. So what is voltage? Voltage is a electric pressure which helps the electrons move from negative potential to positive potential. So let's discuss the example. In a copper wire, in a copper, in this copper wire, initially all electrons are in rest position when we apply voltage across this wire terminal, all electrons are get aligned and it moves from negative potential to positive potential. So basically movement of electron is due to voltage. Electron is nothing but it is a current. So if you apply voltage then current will follow from negative potential to positive potential. Here we have an example. This is the water tank. Here is a small pipe and water is falling down here. So the height of the water is like the voltage. This water, so field height of water is a basically a voltage which create a pressure. Due to this, water flow from this pipe. So the amount of the water is like the current. So basically this water flow due to this pressure, water pressure. And the flow of water resist this basically a pipe which opposes the flow of water. The water pipe is like a resistance. So water pipe behaves like a resistance in terms of electricity. So let's discuss some theoretical terms of voltage. So voltage also called electromotive force is a quantitative expression of the potential difference or power distribution in charge between two ends point in electrical field. The greater the voltage, the greater the flow of electrical currents through the conducting or semiconducting medium for a given resistance to the flow. So if we increase the voltage, it means increase the electrical pressure. So automatically flow of current will increase. If we decrease the voltage, then current will, flow of current will automatically reduce. So, so all this electrons or flow of currents depends upon voltage. Now, Units of voltage is volts. So it is measured by voltmeter, multimeter, and potential transformer in case of high tension voltage. Now come to current. So basically, what is current? It is the rate of flow of charge. So in this picture, 
so here is the tap tap we have a valve over here and here is the outlet and water coming from water tank from upper level here is also another tap so if we compare these two tap so basically we are comparing with water analogy with electric current so in first picture so water flowing more so flow of water is high we can see here if we if we open the valve then automatically water flow of water is increased so if we compare with electrical basically what we are doing here op opening of the valve means we are reducing the resistance of electrical wire so if we reduce the resistance of electrical wire or conductor it automatically flow rate of current will increase so here basically it's a conductor and increase the uh, uh, so, sorry decrease the resistance if we are decreasing the resistance and more current is following here and come to next picture what we are doing here we are closing the ball due to this the rate of flow of water is decreased here so basically if you compare to electrical circuit closing the valve means increasing the resistance so this resistance opposes the current so automatically what will happen the rate of flow of current will decrease so here we can see in this conductor less current means less electrons are flowing from lower potential to higher potential so let's discuss some uh, theory about it and electric current is the flow of electric charge in electric circuit this charge is often carried by moving electrons in a wire so current is nothing it is a electrons which flow through the electrical circuit when we apply the electrical pressure or voltage in simple word we can say that the rate of flow of electrons is called current basically it is a rate of flow of electrons and unit of current is ampere and it is measured by ammeter clamp meter multimeter and current so emitter is connected in series with circuit electrical circuit and voltmeter voltmeter is connected in parallel in electrical circuit to measure the voltage now come to resistance now let's discuss about resistance the position of flow of current in the electric circuit is called resistance its unit is ohm so basically it restricts or create a opposition of flow of current in electrical circuit so let's back to this page now i'm going to explain again about resistance through this water analogy suppose this tap valve 
is considering as a real estate or variable register controller if we open the valve opening the valve the flow of water will increase in terms of electric if we are opening the valve means decreasing the resistance hence the flow of current will increase if we are closing the ball it means we are decreasing the resistance so hence water flow will decrease hence the flow of current will also decrease so basically this valve acting like a resistance so it creates the restriction of flow of current or water so hope you guys get it now come to voltage current and resistance relationship so voltage v equal to i into r so as per this relation we can see that voltage is directly proportional to current if we increase the voltage current will increase if we decrease the voltage flow of current will decrease and in terms of current and resistance resistance is indirectly proportional to current if we increase the resistance current will decrease and if we decrease the resistance current will increase so hope i covered all the basics regarding voltage current and resistance in this video so thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel and please share it thank you bye bye see you in next video thank you thank you very much